Good morning, children. Today we are going to see determination of moment of inertia of a cylindrical shell. So we have seen first solid sphere, then spherical uh, sphere, then the solid cylinder. Now we are going to see cylindrical shell. You should remember one thing. Whenever you are taking an object in the form of a shell, it will have two radius. One is the inner radius, another outer radius. Inner radius is marked as small r and outer radius is marked as capital R. Now we are considering the cylindrical shell to be on two axes, x, x dash and y, y dash. And let O be the center. R is one inner radius, capital R is the outer radius, O is the center. Now I am going to consider a small element at a distance x of thickness dx. Now the whole length of the cylindrical shell is L. So from this when I am considering it is L by 2. You have to mention here four things. Length, mass, inner radius, outer radius. So let M be the mass of the cylindrical shell. R be the outer radius of the shell. L be the inner, small r be the inner radius of the shell. And L is the length of the cylindrical shell. L is the length of the then we have to go ahead to find mass per unit, mass per unit volume, mass per unit, mass per unit volume. You know density is equal to mass by volume. So density is equal to mass by volume. In that case only I am writing down mass per unit volume. Mass per unit volume is nothing but m divided by Volume of a cylinder is pi r square h, but here it is inner radius and outer radius. Therefore, we will write this as pi into outer radius square minus inner radius square into L. That is mass per unit volume. Mass per unit volume. Pi, I told you it is uh, pi r square h is the volume of a cylinder. But since it is a cylindrical shell, inner radius and outer radius, capital R square and small r square times, height is taken as L. Okay, next. Imagine the cylinder to be made up of large number of annular disc. So this is one annular disc at a distance x from the center and thickness dx. It is having two radius, internal radii, external radii. Small r is the internal radii and capital R is the external radii. Now I am going to consider such a disc in the axis x, x dash along y, y dash at the center O. Now I am going to write the next step, volume of the disc. Volume of the small disc you are considered is equal to pi into capital R square plus small r into dx because this is inner radius, inner radius, outer radius minus inner radius times L. L is nothing but thickness. Here the thickness is dx. Now we are going to write mass of the disc. Mass of the disc. Mass of the disc is equal to m by pi capital R square minus small r square into L into pi r square minus r square into dx. So the next step will have m by L times dx because these two will get cancelled. These two will get cancel pi r square into r square and pi r square so m by l times dx m by l times dx now moment of inertia of the annular disc of the external and internal radii capital r and small r respectively about its own diameter moment of inertia of the annular disc of inner radius small r outer radius capital r about its own diameter is given as mi is equal to m into r square plus small r square by 4 where m is the mass of the disc capital r is the outer diameter outer radius small r is the outer diameter or the inner hence by the principle of now by the 
principle of parallel axis now i am using the principle of parallel axis by using the principle of parallel axis this will get deferred so now we are going to write how m into m r square plus m r square divided by 4l into dx so m times into dx 4l by dx plus m by l dx into x i told you that moment of inertia is always expressed as m r square by 2 So always refer as m r square by two. That is, we have written m into capital R plus R square four by d x m by l d x into x square. Now the moment of inertia of the hollow cylinder R can be obtained by integrating within the limits x is equal to plus l by two and x is equal to. So these are the two limits within which we have to do integration. Last class I told you what is integration differentiation. Integration means uniting. Differentiation means splitting. So the final expression for moment of inertia of a cylindrical shell of a cylindrical shell moment of inertia of a cylindrical shell I is equal to integral minus l by two. Plus L by 2 capital M capital R square small R square by 4L into dx plus integration minus L by 2 to plus L by 2 M by L dx into x square. So this is the final step we have taken. Now in these steps we have to bring the common term. We have to bring the Common term. We have to bring the common term. So when we are bringing the common terms, now we are going to express this as moment of inertia comma moment of inertia comma i is equal to m into r square plus r square divided by 4l. Integration of dx is x within the limits minus l by 2 to plus l by 2 plus here you have got m by l x square dx. When you integrate x square by dx, you will get the answer as x cube by 3 within the limits minus l by 2 to plus l by 2. So there are two terms. The two terms, the first term x is the dx is the variable. Integration of dx is x. The second term m and l are constant. It is x square dx. When you integrate x square dx, it is x square by 3. So now we can write this as moment of inertia i is equal to m into capital R square small r square divided by 4l. This is plus 2 minus or minus plus. So l by 2 plus l by 2. Okay, upper limit is plus l by 2 minus or minus. So it will be the plus l by 2. So m by l. Here we have to substitute plus first limit. So L by 2 whole cube. L by 2 whole cube is nothing but L cube by 8. 8 are 24. So L cube by 24 minus into minus plus again you will get what L cube by. So when you you do the minus L by 2 three times, you will get minus L cube by 24. Already there is a minus for a lower limit. Minus into minus plus. So again the common term here is. M into capital R square small R square divided by 4L. L by 2, L by 2 is 2L by 2 plus M by L. 24 is you will take. They will get two times two times L cube. So you will get M into R square plus R square divided by 4L. So this will get cancel. You will get L. Plus m by l, two will get cancelled. Therefore, get l cube by twenty four. L cube by twenty four. Sorry, l cube by twelve. Get l cube because this two is going to twenty four twelve times. So I am getting the answer. So now we have to bring the things inside. 
and we have to write the final expression. We have to bring it and write. Therefore, I am writing. Therefore, moment of inertia, moment of inertia of a cylindrical shell about its diameter is given as I equal to so you have to combine this and I is equal to I am bringing M outer side then I am getting here R square plus R square this L uh, it's L and one L gets by L or the that gets cancelled likewise here also one L is getting cancelled M is coming outside L square by 12 kilogram meter square so first you draw the diagram Mention what is M, capital R, small r and L. Then you tell about the moment of inertia of the mass per unit volume. Mass of the disc, volume of the disc. Then you write the moment of inertia expression for the small disc you have considered. Then you do integration. After performing integration, you will get the expression for moment of inertia of the cylindrical shell. So the moment of inertia of the cylindrical shell is given as m times capital R square plus small r square by 4 plus L square by 12. Where m is the mass of the cylindrical shell, r is the outer radius, small r is the inner radius and m is the length of the cylindrical shell. Okay, thank you.